iOS 17.1 is finally out to the public and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best new features and changes coming to iOS 17.1 on your device. Jumping right into the video, the first feature is the flashlight in the dynamic island. Now when this launched, it was actually exclusive to the iPhone 15 lineup, but now in iOS 17.1, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max will be getting the support as well. So now if your flashlight is on, you're going to have an indication in the dynamic island letting you know that the flashlight is on. Apple announced AirDrop over the internet in iOS 17. It was not available on the first initial launch of iOS 17, but now in iOS 17.1, Apple is updating AirDrop to have the cellular feature so if you're airdropping images or anything to another device and you happen to be separated or disconnected it's going to continue to transfer that data over your cellular network in ios 17.1 apple continues to update the apple music app so the first option that we're going to have in the apple music app is going to be the option to favorite music right in the now playing so you can see right now beside the title on the right hand side there's going to be this new little star icon allowing you to favorite music directly on apple music and you're now playing previously this used to be a like button but that was kind of buried in the settings but now it's easily accessible and it also shows up in carplay as well as your lock screen this will allow apple to better understand your music listening and it's going to recommend songs based on what you have favorited in ios 17.1 in apple music apple's also going to let you know what songs are your most played songs on your albums or whatever songs you're listening to so you can see right now some of these songs have stars beside them which means i favorited it and if it has a circle dot that means those are some songs that i have been playing a lot and it's indicating that by just having a little dot on the left hand side this is a new little change coming in ios 17.1 apple is also making it a lot easier to find your favorited content so if i go into songs here i can see all my songs listed out but if i want to filter it out to just my favorite music i could go ahead and click on this little filter icon and there's going to be an option for favorited so it's going to only show you the songs that you have favorited this also works in artists albums and playlists next we have song suggestions so if you have an apple music playlist and you have some songs listed in that playlist if you scroll all the way down down in that playlist it's going to be a new section called song suggestions and these are pretty much songs that apple are recommending that you can listen to or add to the playlist and it's going to give you these recommendations based on the music that you have favorited or the music that's in your playlist i'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video itool lab apple just announced the latest iphone and if you're looking for a way to transfer your whatsapp itool lab has got you covered with its all new whatsapp transfer tool What's Go. It's the best all-in-one transfer tool for your WhatsApp data. With What's Go, you can transfer your WhatsApp data easily from Android to iPhone, Android to Android, iPhone to Android, as well as iPhone to iPhone. Your contacts, messages, call history, images, videos, stickers, and more are easily transferred to your next phone. There's no need to factory reset your iPhone. What's Go is capable of transferring large files without long waits or getting stuck. What's Go is available on both PC and Mac, and all you have to do is connect your two phones and click transfer, and you're good to go. It's as easy as that. The best part is iTool Lab has a big sale right now and you can get up to 40% off. Check out the links in the description below for links and coupon codes. And now let's get back to the video. And finally, on iOS 17.1 in Apple Music, you're gonna have new Apple Music style cover arts for your playlists. So I have this music video playlist on my Apple Music and you can see the icon by default is gonna be based off the first four videos in this playlist. But if I go ahead and click on the edit cover art, I can actually find new playlist covers that are designed by Apple, which look really clean. All of these colors are based on the first video that you have in your playlist. So if you wanna customize that, you can just rearrange your music and it's gonna be updated accordingly. But this new option of having custom artwork, not only custom artwork, but like having Apple Music style cover arts is gonna be a game changer for some people that don't want to have custom artwork i personally do like doing custom artwork but for the people that don't want to have that and i want to have something differentiating from the stock icons you now have more options in playlist covers on apple music in ios 17.1 next we have new ringtones and text tones coming into ios 17.1 initially these were available in ios 17 betas however when apple released ios 17 they just pulled all the ringtones and no one really got this update now in ios 17.1 apple is finally releasing all these ringtones and new text sounds coming in iOS 17.1. Next, we have changes coming to reachability in iOS 17.1. So now whenever you access reachability, it's gonna give you a black background instead of having a blurred wallpaper in the background. This is also to fix the dynamic island from appearing twice on your device, which makes sense because when the pixels are turned off, it looks completely dark and you don't see two dynamic islands, it's only one, which makes sense. I personally don't use reachability as much, but if you do, you might like this change.
launch. And finally, in iOS 17.1, Apple's bringing new changes to standby mode. Now, when you go into the settings application and go into the standby mode, there's going to be a new display option so you can have the display turning off automatically after 20 seconds or never. And the never option is only going to be available on iPhones that have always on display. Uh, but these are new changes that are coming to iOS 17.1 for standby mode. And there you have it. Those are some of the notable features and changes that are coming to iOS 17.1. Apple still has a lot of features that they've unveiled at WWDC that hasn't been released yet. So hopefully we'll be seeing that in iOS 17.2 or 17.3, especially that journal app, which looks really interesting. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.